Hey guys, welcome back to another That One Camera Guy video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to sync your Cyber Commander with your Speedlight. But before you watch this video, if you haven't already figured out how to sync your Cyber Commander to an Einstein or a Palsy Buff Light, make sure you watch the video over here before you check this video out. All right, so we want to, um, well, basically, uh, so this is how you sync your speed light. It could be Canon, Nikon, or even a third party brand to your Cyber Commander so you can mix um, the, your Einstein Alien B with, with your speed lights. What you're gonna need to do is purchase this trigger from Palsy Buff, which is the CSRB Plus. You're gonna wanna get one of these guys. The first thing you're gonna do is make sure that this thing has batteries in it. Now, the first time I was running this video, I forgot to put the batteries in there, so it didn't work. Uh, the next thing is you're gonna need to get the appropriate cable, and they, it comes with several different cables that you're gonna need in order to trigger your flash. So, I'll be using this one. And then on the 600, there is a sync port here. So you open up. And we're just going to plug it in. Okay, and then I'm going to turn on the 600EX-RT. There you go. And I'm going to leave it on manual mode, so you should know how to do that on your flash. The next step is to uh, get my Cyber Commander ready. Turn it on. We're going to navigate to the Open Memory option. Let me adjust focus here. There you go. Open Memory. Select it. And um, I think the lights might go off, but we'll see. I'm going to navigate to, you see all these different options that you have by using the left, the left joystick. I'm using that to go left and right. We're going to go to Studio Channel 2 because we want to set the, this receiver to Channel 2. Now before we continue on, we need to make sure that the dials on these are set correctly. The first thing is the frequency needs to be set to 1 because my other, the Cyber Commander and the Einstein are set to frequency one. So both of them will trigger on that frequency. And for channel, we're gonna set it to channel two. On this dial, it only shows the odd numbers, but the even numbers are in between. So I've moved this bottom dial in between one and three and set it to number two. So the Einstein set to channel one, the speed line is set to channel three. So that's all set to go and you should see this kind of blinking. And I think we can actually do a test fire. There we go. If you can see that, that means this thing is connected and it's working. Now, once we've got channel two set up on this guy, frequency one, it's plugged in, the, the flash is turned on. Let's go to our cyber commander, turn it back on, navigate back to our open menu, our open memory. And then we're going to make sure we're on set studio channel zero two and press the right button. Okay. Once you've done that, you're gonna notice a little tiny tab show up right there. And that's just saying that the the flash is now synced to um, your speed light, okay? So that's what that means. Now let me get my light back on here. All right, at this point, I've attached the Cyber Commander onto a, a 50D here with a Sigma lens, and so I'm going to trigger it, and we'll see if it fires. It might not fire the first time, but we'll see. Okay, and if you can tell, the Einstein is actually to my right, and the 600 EXRT is just down here. I'll do another test fire. And so now we have both of the flashes going off. We have our Einstein and our 600EX-RT. So there you go, that's how you mix the lights. Okay, now there's, there's one thing I wanna mention before we finish, is that when you turn the, this back on and you see that little tiny tab on channel two, uh, the reason why there's no bar on channel two is because you're going to have to control your flash manually if that wasn't clear at all. So that's why you don't see a power meter on it. So if I go to um, channel one or channel two, right, channel two, if I press up or down on, on the actual 
pad there, nothing's happening. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that. So if you're using the, if you're syncing up with the CSRB Plus, it's, it's going to be manual. You're pretty much going to control your flash manually, so you'll have to physically go to your flash and adjust the settings to it. Well, there you go. That's it. That's how you sync your speed light to your Cyber Commander along with mixing any other policy buff lights in your system. Now, you might be wondering, why do you want to sync your speed light with your Einstein system? Well, maybe you already have speed lights and you want to mix it up a bit. You don't want to buy another Einstein or an Alien B and you just want a cheaper alternative. Now, the one thing I will say is that these receivers aren't all that cheap. They're a little expensive and a little pricey. Uh, so you may want to think very hard about whether you want to sync your systems. Um, I mean, I still use my my speed lights and I wouldn't want to sell them to try and pick up another policy buff light. So that's something for you to consider when you are purchasing your system. Now, before I go, if you really like this video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you like the videos on my channel, you might want to consider subscribing. I'm planning on producing and putting up new content uh, on a weekly basis for all of my viewers. And that's all I got to say. With that said, I'll see you guys later. Bye.